Hello and welcome. The members of our group, Ringmasters, are Linda Ferber, Janice Levi, and me, Rebecca DeGroot. We started our project a little late, but our first Zoom session progressed very quickly. Our randomly selected noun with modifier was Joyful Passage. We almost immediately had the idea of showing an older generation of women passing on something of value to a younger generation. And what would this valuable thing be? Lots of things came to mind. Knowledge, spirituality, love, generosity, all of these things and more. With time being short, we decided to challenge ourselves by repurposing items started and discarded to give them a new life. Not unlike what we women do all the time already. Yet another gem to pass on to the next generation. Janice, tell us about your part in the collaboration. The seven inch bow I repurposed represents the older generation of women. To accommodate the legs that Rebecca would eventually add to this bow, I shaped and sanded the bottom to accept those legs. For color, I chose to use the rust colored metal reactive paint. Our rusty elderly lady has not given up on fashion, however. She still adorns herself with a pair of loop earrings. Metal reactive paint is a three-step process including primer, reactive paint, which actually contains tiny iron filings, and an accelerator that reacts with those iron filings to create rust. We decided that the sphere must be a symbol for all the precious things that we women pass to the next generation. What can be more precious than gold? So I gold leaf the sphere. Linda, tell the ladies about the young recipient. This collab presented new challenges that I was eager to explore. The first was transforming the intent of someone else's work into a new direction, repurposing work. Sanding gave me opportunity to study the bowl, and during this process, I started problem solving. Developing expressive characteristics, youth, overall color choice, suggesting growth and freshness. Eagerness, car carving a heart painted bright pink. Willingness, carrying a big sprig of flowers. Carving a heart and painting were the next step. An undercoat of white milk paint, the inside of the bowl a darker solid color, the outside of the bowl a mixture of green, blue, and white suggesting growth. Sprout chose to wear pearls to honor RGB piercing her ears and customizing the size of the earrings made me laugh. It was a hoot. Sprout was ready for her turning to Texas, getting fitted with legs, meeting the other characters. After receiving the two bowls again, I started right away. I grabbed a piece of scrap cherry off of the shelf and plotted out all the designs. After I had them drawn on, I started to cut them out on the bandsaw. Once they were cut, I sanded the joints so that they would properly meet, glued them together, cut the kerf directly across the joint so that I could insert a spline. Once the splines were glued into each joint, I was ready to carve. From square to octagonal, octagonal to round, and from rough round to start sanding, I worked my way through the legs. Making these two pieces come to life and appear unified was a lot of fun because I got to bring sort of the personalities of Linda and Janice and add my own little flair to it. Assembling the pieces was a challenge on its own, which was actually really exciting because I did have to play not just with visual balance, but with physical balance as well. The weight of the golden sphere made the larger, more mature bowl um, actually tip over quite a few times. So I had to kind of counteract that and try to work with the legs to make them rebalance and hold steady while still appearing to tip into the smaller bowl. Enjoy a few more views of our finished piece before Janice closes out our presentation. Thank you so much. This entire process has been challenging, but I think that's what we've all needed during this difficult year. Even if we could not meet in person, we were able to connect, to think, to imagine, and finally to execute the building of a collaborative project and to learn from one another. And we not only hope to pass on what we've learned, we plan to do so.